Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com, and in this video, we're going to look at how to set up the Facebook tracking pixel and how to set up custom conversions so you can track the actions of users on your website all the way to your Facebook ads account. This will allow you to create custom audiences that you can remarket to. You can create lookalike audiences that you can show kind of cold traffic ads to. And really the most important part is it pulls the data into your Facebook ads manager so you can make kind of data-driven decisions on the data that you can kind of count on, right? So I used to use a different process and I created a couple of videos in the past showing you how to use the Facebook event manager pixel but I've had a lot of troubles with the event manager system this is the replacement I've been using this for a few months now and I find that it gives me number one way better data the numbers of conversions that I'm showing in my Facebook account using this setup is a lot closer to what I show in my shopping cart and in my email system and it's so important to have good data since we're basing our decisions decisions on data, we need to make sure we're on reliable data. The second reason I like this way is it's super easy to set up and easy wins and it's a lot easier to manage. Now, I'm going to show you how to set this all up in my, it's a WordPress based website, it's on Thrive Themes. If you're on a different system or if you're on a different theme, know that you're just going to have to figure out how to do it do that for yourself. Um, you always want to find the head and pretty much every theme and every system is going to have a way for you to add this kind of tracking code. And if you're following along in the DIY sales funnel series, that's the site I'm going to do this on. I'm also going to show you the tool, the little kind of trick the tool I use to make sure that the pixels are done correctly right because we don't want to just put them in place we want to put them in place and check to make sure that they're working right and then at the end we'll set up all those custom conversions I'll show you exactly how that works cool let's jump in you can follow along so the first place we're going to start is here in the ads manager account and you can see I'm in one of my demo accounts but I'm gonna click the drop down I'm gonna go over here to pixels now I am using this pixel so I show some pixel firing data here yours is new it's probably gonna prompt you if you don't have it set up it's going to prompt you to create your pixel and once you go through the process of essentially just naming it and saying that you want it to last for 180 days it will load a page that looks like this for you to install the pixel which is what we're going to do together you want to turn on use advanced matching and what that does is it gives Facebook a little bit extra data so on your conversion based campaigns they can go find the individuals who are most like the customers that you want to bring in which is obviously the goal as you see, you simply click on it. It will copy that text to the clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and just paste it in a notepad file because I love working with notepad and it just kind of keeps it there handy for me. Now I'm in the DIY sales funnel dashboard. Now, if you've been following along in one of the first steps, we set up the word fence plugin. I want you to go in and just as I'm going to do here, disable the word fence plugin long enough to get this pixel code into the site. The reason is word fence is trying to protect protect you from any sort of malicious code injection on your website. Now you want that protection, but it will block you from doing this if you don't turn off WordFence. And obviously if you're not using WordFence, then you won't need to worry about it. But where we go to do that, you click on plugins, it'll take you to the installed plugins. Then I'm going to scroll down to WordFence. Security, I'm going to just click deactivate. I'm going to wait for this page to reload, which takes just a second. Now it's deactivated and I can get in and add my code. So I'm going to come down here to the Thrive dashboard and I'm going to hover on that and choose theme options. If you click, just choose theme options on the next page it takes you to. And you can see right here we have this analytics and scripts area and we want to place the Facebook tracking code in the header and scripts by just pasting it in. If you have your Google Analytics code, that goes in the exact same place. Uh, you could just literally merge the Google Analytics code right here and paste them both in. I'll kind of cover that in a future video. So when I click save all changes, what happens is that snippet of code, which is my Facebook tracking pixel, is now placed on every standard page page and standard post on my website, which means all the member mouse, the checkout pages, the thank you pages, all of those pages just got my tracking pixel added but it did not add to any of the funnel pages I created with Thrive's content builder. So I have my two main funnel pages here 
Um, this is the landing page, right? I want to track people who reach there. And this is what's called my OTO page, which is what they see after they opt in. Really simple to do. What we do is we click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. It's going to load this Content Builder kind of plugin or, or the, the drag and drop landing page builder. Click on the Thrive landing pages. Click on landing page settings. And then down here, set up custom scripts. And right here, we want to paste it inside of the head area. Click save, click save. Super simple. And then it loads, all changes saved. I'm going to go do that one more time over here. So I'm going to edit with Thrive Content Builder. And if you have a, a longer funnel, if you have more pages or on your kind of one click upsell page, you can definitely, and I recommend adding this everywhere. I'm not going to be adding it everywhere for the sake of time and efficiency. Um, I'm not going to be showing you that I'm adding it everywhere. It's probably a better way of saying that. Paste it in here, click save click save and there we have it all changes are saved now we want to go double check that this did work correctly so where i'm going to go here is i'm going to take off this question mark tve true um, and then i'm going to hit enter which actually loads the page itself i'm going to do the same thing here so what you're going to do is on Chrome browser, I want you to install this Facebook Pixel Helper. Now, to obtain this, you can click on the three little dots. You want to go to Settings, and then you're going to go to Extensions. And then on the bottom, you can see the Get More Extensions. You click that, and it's going to let you search, and you want to search for Facebook Pixel Helper, and you just set that up and install it. And what happens is when you load a page, you notice I've got this little blue bracket here and it's got the number on it. So before that actually, before you have the pixel installed, it's all grayed out and it shows that the gray, it being gray means there's no pixel firing. The fact that it lights up blue means that the pixel is firing. And here's where I got confused because it says two and it used to only say one. So I can click on this and you can see that it actually tells you exactly what's going on. Here's the important part. One pixel found on your website is the important part. You want one pixel. And what's going on is Facebook's delivering two pieces of data from the one pixel, which is why it pulls a two, which is fine. It used to just say one, and that's where I, I disappeared to for a quick minute to go double check on that. Um, but ultimately, what we're looking for is it to show this page view information. So now we can go in and look, and I can check each of the pages in my funnel. You can see I've got it. It's lit up blue there. And I can go into my order complete page, which is where they would go after checking out, uh, after completing a purchase, and you can see that the pixel works. So what this means is we're ready to now go create our custom conversions but before we jump in there let's remember to go back in and turn back on the WordFence plugin just to make sure we've got that security built into our website so I'm gonna click activate and then I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone and get out of that section so now at this point this pixel that you're looking at is installed on this new website. What you want to do now is click on the three little bars and go to the custom conversions. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tell Facebook what the specific pages are on our website that correlate to the specific trackable actions from a visitor, right? So let's go through this process here and you can create up to 40 of these. So odds are you've got enough room to play with this, but um, don't go crazy with these if you will. So I clicked on create custom conversions and the first thing I'm going to do is go here and I'm going to put landing page reached. So let's go back here. I'm going to put URL contains. Now when I do this, actually I'm going to pull up notepad. I don't like to include the HTTPS, the colons, the slashes, or the www's. I simply take from the domain on I'm even going to take off that trailing slash. I'm going to just take the core part of what I want in here. I paste that in there and then you choose a category and I'm going to put this as a view content and I click next and I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to say. So I do add the conversion values in the future. I don't actually have a conversion value for this one. 
I'll just put in a value of 10 cents, right? I think it's worth 10 cents per visit to that page for me. And I like to give Facebook a little data on what they expect that my conversions are going to be worth. And I obviously like to make sure that number is in my favor, if you will. So then click create custom conversions. Again, I'm going to take my next one. Now this is the op this is my OTO page. And this is the page that they see after they opt in. So when someone reaches this page, they are effectively a lead in my system so I'm gonna just take the domain itself I'm gonna go back in here to the ads manager URL contains and here's one cool thing you can actually add a second one here right so if you had a uh, split test running and you sent traffic to two separate thank you pages you could combine both of those thank you pages with one pixel just add that second one here but for me I don't have that running so I'm just gonna go choose lead I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna put DIY SF lead. Set a conversion value. I'll say that's worth 50 cents. Create. Now I want to do a new customer pixel, right? So I'm going to click here. I'm going to copy this DIY. Oh, excuse me. That's the one I just did. This is where they go after they purchase. And all we're doing is manually telling Facebook inside of the Facebook Ads Manager which pages are correlated with which actions. Then Facebook's able to track this data, and like I said, we can create uh, specific audiences based on this. So there we go, URL contains, this is what it contains. I'm going to choose a category, which is a purchase. And then I'm going to click next. But again, notice you can do if they use your search, if they add to cart, right? If they initiate checkout, if you have a two kind of a, a two phase uh, checkout process, you can add all of these different ones. If you're running webinars, you can do complete registration for a, a webinar registration. If that's separate from a lead, uh, really easy to set up for you on that. And then I'm going to do DIY sales funnel. I'll put OTO customer. I'll set a conversion value of $25. I don't really remember what my product was. I'm just putting in something here. And I'll click Create. So now at this point, I have created all three of my custom conversions here. These are going to track for me, and then I can pull that data in. Now, let me see. I don't know what the feedback loop is on this, but I'm going to go refresh all of these pages and get these pixels to fire for me. So there, that one fired. Let's get this one to fire here. You can see it's gray. The moment the pixel fires, it turns blue. And let me do that here. Sorry, I had to pause that video. And there we go. So I fired all of those pixels. It might take a little bit of time for this to register inside of the ads manager, and that's okay, but it shouldn't be much more than uh, an hour or so. And in fact, it was instantly, right? So now you can see the status bar over here turned to green because I added each one of those. Now, if you're interested in creating a custom audience off of this, um, you can go, let me see here. Oh, that's the edit. So what we would do, if you want to create a custom audience, audience based on this you would come over here into audiences which is under all tools and you would go to where is it here assets audiences and what happens is your audience will continue to grow as that pixel gets more and more data so you click create audience custom audience and you would use website traffic and then here you choose the pixel that you're running off of, and you would simply set it up from the pixel that you're off of. Oh, that switched me out of account, so it doesn't have this. Let me go here real quick. And, ah, since I don't actually have an ad account there set up, that's pretty funny. So that's the process for you. That's exactly how you would set up the custom audiences. And at this point, you are tracking your conversions. And again, the reason it wouldn't let me set up this, this ad account doesn't have a credit card in it, so I can't do the audiences. This is just a backup account in case something happens to my current account. But that's it. And now what happens is you're able to pull this kind of a data in. In fact, let me show you how you pull this data in. So I'm going to load this, which account, this account. And I want to show you, so 
by default, these custom conversions aren't going to display. Um, we're going to go inside of the ads manager and I'm going to show you how to get them to display within your ads manager because again, the goal is to compile all of that data right here on this screen so you can make good decisions based on what happens on this screen. So up here in the columns, you click on the columns and then you want to go to customize columns and it's gonna have a option here for conversions. If you click on conversions, it's gonna drop you down to the conversions and it's gonna to wanna to set you up as the, the Facebook pixel here on the website. But what you wanna do is you scroll down a little bit and you'll see website custom conversions and you will see the ones you just created showing up here you simply tick the box here i like to put the cost per conversion as well you can reorder them here on this side you can see these are my my cost per conversions here you can see i also like to get the frequency the relevance score the negative positive feedback scores then you click apply what happens is it changes this to custom for you and you'll want to save it as a default and you'll probably want to actually save i believe if you go down to the bottom it would give you an option to save but since i didn't actually make any changes it doesn't give me that option to save and all in all that's it that's how you set up your tracking based on the conversion the custom conversions inside of facebook like i said it's been about six months or so since i created my last facebook tracking videos this is how i'm running things now you just saw exactly how to set this up on thrive themes you also learned how to check that the pixels work you also also saw how I just refreshed those pages once it was all set up at the custom conversion level and we were able to see instantly that that custom conversion is firing. Then you integrate that into your ads manager inside of the kind of display where you make your decisions based on what's going on, based on the data accrued by your account and you can create any of the custom audiences so you can retarget your leads and you can create lookalike audiences based on people who reach your custom conversion pixels and they will Facebook will go find the people most similar to those who made it to your purchase pixel. Really, really powerful stuff. A little bit geeky, had to deal with code and the head section, but all in all, I think you have what you need to get your tracking set up effectively here inside of Facebook and inside of your DIY sales funnel, WordPress and Thrive Themes based website. I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. I thank you very much for your time and I wish you all the success in the world with your Facebook Facebook advertising, your content marketing, and your internet-based business. Be well.